Summertime is pretty much done here in the Greater Toronto Area. We are getting a few of those nice humid hot days left, but soon I will no longer to be able to walk out of the house just wearing some nice light shorts, a tank top, a t-shirt, and ready to get some sun. Soon I'll be walking out in some pants, a t-shirt, maybe a sweater, you know, sweater weather. Hopefully the cold cold wrap to put on the jacket and stuff doesn't come soon. Let it be like how I was when I was living in southern Asia, other in southern China, where wintertime I was wearing sweaters and pants all year round, ready to be very fashionable. But we're not talking about pants and sweaters today, we're talking about probably the final pair of shorts that I'm going to pick up this summer season, this 2022 should I say. So anyways, let's get a look at these, because you know what, I will be wearing it all year round, just at the gym, you know, because sometimes you want to look nice at the gym too, and you know, it's not always pants at the gym in the winter, sometimes it gets hot inside there, you need shorts too. So I've been talking too much, let's get into what you probably clicked on the video, as you see in the title, the thumbnail, all that, this is another Under Armour review. I love Under Armour products, they're very versatile, they have a nice look side with being very athletic and able to use for everything you know hence the word versatile so yeah let's get into it so the first one I'm going to show you is the lightest one I got this maybe to lounge around and run out of the house in quickly or possibly do deadlift squats or I don't know it's nice and open leg um, I have the receipt here so I remember the name of it because not all the tags have the names as I show you here the first tag of the item let's get it nice and close you can see that it retails for $60 Canadian. I went for a size large. If you like the item and can't find it by name, there's the product code there and the color code. So once again, Under Armour on the back side of the tag. And these are the shorts here. It's got nice Under Armour branding. Nice and subtle downwards. Vertical here on the leg. A nice white stripe for the connecting panel where it splits. Back is very plain, but the back has the nice you know, Under Armour logo here, as opposed to the front, there's not really anything there. And obviously, you got your ties here. The strings are black and white, a little bit of mixture. And that's it. So one more time, let's hold this up right here. Now these shorts, let me find on the receipt. These are the UA Elevated Woven Graphic Shorts. Alright, so, oh, pretty good for me. Usually get these things on sale. Right now there was a buy one get one free for a back to school sale going on. But there's always something like a 20 or 30. Maybe if you go on Black Friday you get 50 off the whole store. So, you know, these things are very affordable. And the quality is there. Alright, so that's the first one. We're going to throw that on after I show you the second one. And then see how they look on the body. But for now, this one is, uh, I don't know, I'm a little debated on this. I like this because of the cream color to it. You know, very simple and subtle. That must be the back. Yes, it is. And there is the front. Now, I was looking for that tiny, tiny Under Armour logo right there. And this, yes, there is no branding on the top uh, here. You can see it's just nice and plain. Now, the reason I was debating on this, because this is, I believe, the 6-inch, no, 5-inch. I love 5-inch shorts. Some people think they're too short. I think if you build legs, they're great. They're breathable. So once again, these are the UA Speed Pocket 5-inch shorts, all right? So let's see, first off it says Speed Pocket, like all my ASRV reviews. Where is the Speed Pocket? I'm in the leg here, and I'm not seeing a Speed Pocket. So I think for Speed Pocket, obviously right now, it says Speed Pocket here. So if you can see where that is again, that is on the front inside band. Speed Pocket, you'll open it up. Now, this isn't like the speed pocket on the left side of the legs in a leg liner. This is probably just to throw your keys or something small in here. Something to speedy get into quickly and have it there. So yeah, mainly meant for a runner, I would say. Um, I'm not too much of a runner anymore, so that pocket is going to be kind of useless to me. Now, if we look on the inside, um, actually this thing does not have any pull ties, so there's nothing for me to tighten it up. So it's going to depend on the elasticity of the waist. So large should fit because I am, you know, 170-ish pounds now, 6 foot. That's usually what I go through. I'm usually like a 33 waist, almost at a 34. So between medium and large. So I went with large on this one, same as I did on the last one. Now the one thing that bothers me a little is that run shorts have this mesh on the inside. Kind of like a bathing suit, but it is not a bathing suit. I mean, maybe you could use it too, but this is not quick dry material. 
Anyways, I guess it's good to try to hold your stuff in place when you run, but that's usually what you use briefs for, not boxers, not anything else. So anyways, that's it. I only got it because of the cream color. I thought it would go nice with some things. I've been talking too much, so I'm sure you guys want to see how these look on. So I'm going to go throw these on and go from there. Let's go. All right, you can see up close, got that little pull tie there. Can obviously flip it in. Step back a little to the lighting. I switched shirts just so they're more visible. All right, so this is it on body. Side view, got that Under Armour there. Back view, nice and loose. These actually feel really good. I like the lightness of them. It barely feels like I'm wearing shorts, not restrictive. Very easy to lift legs up, move around. Yeah, let's check the other one. All right, there you see. I was a little worried about the waistband, not having any pull ties, but it's a little more elastic than the previous pair I tried on. Now they are five inch, so they're cut a lot shorter. These might not be for everyone, but they do let your legs feel very free. Uh, because there's no liner in them, they kind of feel a little weird to me. I'm used to ASRV shorts with a tight liner and then the shortness. So, you know, this probably will take some getting used to, but once again, it's nice and light. I don't know. I got them because of the color. I like that cream. Cream on cream. All right. All right. So there you have it for another Under Armour review. Probably the last short review I will do because the cold is coming. I want to pick up some pants now or, you know, just something a little different. I've had a ton of shorts throughout this whole summer season and worn all of them multiple different times for different purposes. And I don't know. Tell me what you think. So once again, that was the Under Armour Elevated or UA Elevated Woven Graphics Pant. Retail on that was $60 Canadian. Always find it on a deal in Under Armour Factory Outlets. Maybe not the exact same color, but you get the idea. And the second one was the UA uh, Speed Pocket 5 inch short. Now tell me what do you think was the better of the two? Do you have any of these yourself? Or what are some Under Armour products you have or you'd want me to review? You know, put it down in the comments and I'll see what I can do. I love talking with all of you guys and a lot of you seem to always love the Under Armour stuff, so I'll keep doing it. Anyways, till next time, I've had a great time. Take it easy.